Hi all! We're so excited to show you our demonstration today, Pipes and Pals, which will introduce you to some very important STEM topics that will enhance your education as you continue forward in these courses. Today we'll be doing a demonstration that involves showing how different piping arrangements can affect fluid flow and how viscosity and other fluid properties can play into this. Hey guys, as Kat was saying, that there are going to be several properties that affect the fluid in our pipes. So the first uh, property is viscosity, which is internal resistance to flow. If you think about it, it's like the thickness of a fluid. The more viscosity a fluid has, the more resistant it is to flow. Uh, next property we're going to look at is density. Density is the mass per unit volume. You can think of it as how much of, an ob how much of something takes up a certain space. The next property we're going to look at is friction, which is the resistance of the movement between two objects. It's the force that prevents things from moving on forever, keeps things stopped. Uh, gravitational force is the last property we're going to look at, and it's the force that attracts any object with mass, and it's the force that causes falling of objects. Um, these aren't the only properties that we're going to look at. There are many others, and we'll show you that with our demonstration of pipes shortly. Hey guys, so I'm just going to go through a few of the materials that you need when you're setting up your pipes and pals. So basically what we have here is a funnel, which you're going to use to get the water into the straws. And then we have different arrangements of the straws that represent pipes. So as you can see here, it starts out, this set has no bends in it. Then we go to one bend, two bends, and three bends. So as you'll see as we do the experiment, the amount of bends and whether they're long or short can affect the rate of fluid flow through the pipes and you'll see that soon. Okay, so the first set that we're going to do, as you can see, has no bends in it. So what we're going to do is pour water through the funnel, through the straw, and we're going to time it and see how long it takes to go into the cup. So as you can see, the number of bends did affect the time of flow. So as the number of bends increased, so did the time of the flow. And that has to do with a lot of the properties that we talked about in our introduction, which Aaron can talk more about. So although the gravitational force is constant through all the demonstrations, you see the different bends cause different friction, and therefore they increase the time it took for the flow to go through the pipes. So now we're going to compare these numbers that we got with doing the same experiment, but we're going to decrease the pipe diameter at certain parts throughout each set and see how that affects our numbers. So guys, as you can see here, that with the change of the diameter of the pipe, they had a significant uh, change in the fluid flow. So uh, with the smaller diameter, the longer it took for the fluid to flow through the pipe. And Kat can tell you more about how that goes on now. Yeah, so if you think about this rationally and just think through the logic behind this, you're having the same amount of water trying to go through the pipe at the same rate, except since you have a smaller diameter, not as much water can fit through at any given moment. Therefore, it takes a longer period of time for the water to flow through when you have a smaller diameter, making it the fluid flow rate larger. Okay, today guys, we show you how with pipes and pals, the structure of a pipe and the amount of bends in a pipe can change how fluid flows through the pipe. But there are other changes that you can make to sh show how fluid can flow through a pipe. The, thing you, the first thing you can change is the fluid itself. Uh, instead of water flowing through, if you had honey, then the time to flow through the pipe will take longer because the fluid, the honey, has a higher viscosity and a higher density than water does. Uh, also, if you change the temperature of the honey, the fluid flow would also change by uh, either decreasing it if it got uh, warmer and increasing it if it got colder. 
The next thing you can change about the pipe is uh, the material. So depending on how rough or how smooth the pipe is, the fluid flow will change accordingly. Um, the rougher the surface, the slower it will take to flow through. The smoother the surface, the quicker it will take to flow through. The last thing you can change is the presence of a pump. With a pump, you can create more force driving the fluid through the pipe, thereby decreasing the time it will take to flow. There, and if you had a pipe that had left less force and gravity, then there would be a slower time for it to flow through. Thank you all again for watching our Pipes and Pals demonstration today. We hope that you'll subscribe to our channel for more presentations and more demonstrations to come. Have a great day!